well angular 6 has been released now now in this code minute we are going to discuss features of angular 6 yes we are going to discuss features of angular 6 okay so let's go to the official blog from the angular team if you can see angular 6 is now available and what they are saying here this is a major release focused less on the underlying framework and more on the tool chains and making it easier to move, move quickly quickly with the angular in the future so don't worry this release is related on the tools it's not going to break your what you can say existing code and more important your confidence so stick with the angular it is going to make you millennia trust me okay let's start with the features one by one see this ng update is there and ng add is there these two are related to the package update and package addition as angular developer we know how difficult it is to update the packages or add the new packages well nowadays your cli is giving you direct command add and what you can say update just go here and they have given some example of addition pwa progressive web apps bootstrap schematics you can say material clr angular and the elements many they, they have just given you some examples these are the fresh packages in the angular they have added well this too about the ng add and update angular elements we know we are in the era of web components we need to create the custom elements right but angular creates the custom components or you can say web components if you want to make them as an element this angular's feature will surely help you right means what exactly is going to happen you are going to create a component you are going to convert it to the element and you are going to use it to the non angular environments that's it so in the near future your web component can be used in non html environments good try to make some usable components another feature angular material and the component development kit components so we we were using third party components so far but angular has given you some useful components so biggest addition in this in this the new tree component for displaying the hierarchical data and many more so angular has added many things many templates related to the material if you can see angular material starter components here they have given a side nav there is a single command like this which is going to give you the navigation drawer like this so simple so easy download the cli and start using the angular 6 now see dashboard if you see the dashboard there is one command ng generate and many things so don't worry this is related to the utilities many utilities has been added by the angular team and many things the material design table and many more well very good feature or very fantastic feature angular 6 has given you is nothing but creating the workspaces i hope you have developed some angular application in the past you might have seen right you might have seen this file dot angular cli dot json where well, this is a project specific now your angular project or angular will become the workspace specific means one workspace can hold multiple angular project that's what this feature is now you will find this file and not this file well good let's see what happens library project now see one of the most required feature of the cli has been creating and building the libraries so libraries are what you can say some utilities some extra utilities some reusable code you can put under the library and you can reuse it again and again well there is a command ng generate library if you can see ng generate library name the library and that's it your library is going to be created well tree shakeable providers name is little bit bigger but concept is very simple so far we were using we were creating the services by ng generate service or nggs name of your service and you are putting it under the providers array in the module app module or wherever nowadays what happens is that in angular 6 provided in can you see this if you have worked with the angular 6 or if you have downloaded the cli 6 you will get this automatically right so instead of going to the module level and manipulating it manually 
just go to the service itself and write provided in. Well, if you want to inject it in the component, that remains as it is, that hasn't been changed. Right, there are some improvements in animation package, you may check it. Well, RxJS v6, many people are saying Angular 6 has a breaking change which is nothing but the RxJS, but don't worry, the change is not in the Angular, change is in the RxJS package. So whatever RxJS team has changed, frequently we are using a this, this what you can say, this RxJS at the time of HTTP calls. Right, HTTP calls are as it is, if, but if you want to use the operators, there is a little change, but as a programmer, you can grasp it very much easily, I am confident on that. So don't worry, so it's not a breaking change, it's a little, what you can say, more, more you can say simpler version of the RSJ6 they have created. Well, it is, what you can say, long term support, you don't need to worry about the angular fixes. If you are not knowing what is the angular, go to our series and download the series or watch the series and learn the angular first. And these whatever things have been changed in the six are the utilities just, right? So there is something called as, what you can say, IVY, it is a renderer engine. Let's not talk about this, this is the future related thing. So this might be coming in the next future or next release or next to next release, but don't worry. So this is related to the render. And what I would like to tell you is that please learn the Angular first and then go with the six. It is very simple. I hope you like this code minute session, right? Please subscribe us, please share us and please like us. Thanks a lot for watching.